Hey everyone, Johnny here. I got a question about tapering the ends of the threads in my threaded rod generator video. So I wanted to do this video really quick to show you a way to control values really easily, especially when they're running along the length of a curve. I'll jump into my threaded rod node tree. This is the important part of the node tree. It's this set curve radius node that's taking one point at either end of the curve and setting its radius to zero. Otherwise, all other radiuses are one. Later, we multiply this factor to get the size that we actually want. But if we want more control along the length of the curve, your best bet is to use the spline parameter node. That's under curve, spline parameter, and we want to use the factor. The factor runs from zero to one along the length of the curve. So if I plug this into the radius, you'll see that the start of the curve has a radius of zero and the end has a radius of one. Because this runs from zero to one, this is really easy to control using the utilities float curve node. This node maps an incoming value, in this case the factor, which is represented by the x-axis of this graph. So over here we have the factor at zero and over here we have the factor at one. This factor is just the influence of this float curve, so we can ignore that for now. The y-axis of the float curve node represents what value the incoming value will get mapped to. So in this case, we have a linear mapping. So when the incoming factor is zero, the output value is also zero. And that stays true all the way to when the incoming factor is one and the output value is one. However, if we change this, it can now get larger quicker. But there's nothing that says this output value has to be one. We can have this return back down to zero and we can make a hump in the middle like this. Now our values start at zero, rise up to one, and then go back down to zero. And we can add as many control points as we want here to get the result that we're looking for. So I could add some more control points and get this result where it tapers up from zero to one relatively quickly, and then at the halfway point works its way back down. This doesn't just work for curves. Anytime you have an incoming value that goes from zero to one and you wanna have more control over it, plug a float curve node in its path and it will give you the control you're looking for. I hope this quick tip is helpful and I hope it inspires you to make something awesome. Speaking of awesome, I wanna shout out to my patrons for supporting this channel. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll catch you later.